Welcome to SISUs. We are two sisters with issues and a need to work them out, and we're inviting you along for the ride. Here we are taking the big things we have in common. Our love for Outlander, inappropriate humor, and why people do the things they do. Mix this up with our dirty lady mo's, and this podcast is born. But don't worry, we'll explore other issues too. Because you know... When, when you, you have, have sisters, sisters, you have, have issues. If you are easily offended or don't appreciate the creative use of colorful Canadian cursive language, this is not the podcast for you. Well, welcome back to our Outlander rewatch. We are sisus because we have some issues. I am Phil. I'm Cher. And you know what? I'm still drinking eggnog because I'm allowed to. Mm, Well, that's good. I'm still drinking water. I'm trying to. (laughs) I should have brought some um, chapstick because my lips are awful dry. Are they? They're still dry? I need to maybe send you like a whole package of chapsticks and chapstick in a care package. But you know what? I have like eight chapsticks, but I have none down here with me right now. That's the problem. I always forget to bring them down here with me while I'm doing this podcast. I haven't had to use chapstick in a year because I use baby oil in the shower. I think we've had this conversation before. Yes, but I use, but you don't understand the drugs that I'm on. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Right. Now I get it. And I'm on a lot of drugs. Yeah. Not, not because she's that, like Not that. because I'm, um, I'm, you know what? Some days I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I think I'm in the last 20 years of my life. So why not? Just start getting hooked on stuff. (laughs) Jeez, Murphy. (laughs) My sister is not a drug addict. She has many, many, um, uh, I was going to say mental issues, but besides that. (laughs) I do. I'm, 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 I'm bipolar people. This is not, this is not a secret. I don't hide it. it. It's, it's, it's a thing. So yeah, there's a couple of drugs that I have to be on for those. There's, there's uh, anti-psychotics and there's anti-seizure and there's, uh, there's mood, mood stabilizers and there's antidepressants all, all in a bundle for, for bipolar. Yeah. And then you have your the medical issues as well. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, yeah. There's there's uh lymphedema, there's thyroid, there's uh Bell's palsy, hemifacial spasms, and I'm missing one. I'm yeah, you're missing, missing a uterus. Oh, yep, there's the there's the severe spikes in my um estrogen, estrogen and uh vasovagal. So I pass out for no reason. Yeah, thank goodness not during our podcast. It hasn't yet. happened yet. Yay! It has not happened yet. Yay. It's happened when I was on my way to come down for one once, <laughs> but it, it didn't last very long. So they're usually just a quick nod off and I wake up when my head bops, but yeah. sometimes they last until somebody wakes me up. So You know what? You should get Andrew to tape that and I'll put it to music. You know, how about No. <laughs> but that would be so that would be fun i could how, post that on tiktok how about no <laughs> all righty let, let's get back to our outlander rewatch because <laughs> now that all... everybody's exhausted hearing <laughs> hearing about what's wrong with Cher today <laughs> no so we're in season two make sure that you get episode four ready la dame blanche so and that the that damn name's gonna, Blanche that that's gonna carry on for a little while, which is kind of cool. But mm-hmm. um, again, you want to skip through um, your um, previews and go directly to the music, and then we're good to go. Radios, everybody, we're gonna do the countdown, and we're gonna go from three to one. And as soon as I say one, that's when you're gonna hit play on your device. So we go three. Oh, how about we go? Twa, duh, ooh. <laughs> you said uh, with such conviction. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I even thrusted my hips when I said, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sad. Really I, sad. I liked it when you said, you said, Le Dame Blanche. So, La Dame Blanche. So, and then I said it like an English person that's just going, La Dame 
Blanche. <laughs> no, no, no. It is La Dame Blanche. La Dame Blanche. <laughs> we, can, we can do this all day. You know what, though? I loved French in school. I loved taking it. Did you? Because I, I, I really I, did. I, the, I only felt... thing, the only thing I remember from, from French is the, the French teacher that we had was a little blonde lady with curly hair. And she had a, uh, and this was in James Wood School in Winnipeg, and she had a poster on the wall that had all these pictures and the names in French and then the things in English. And one was piss in the pool. <laughs> and that is always, always, that's the only thing that I really remember from French. Oh, I know one that you remember as well. Favorite French teacher ever, Mr. Gagnon. C'est tough, c'est la vie, c'est de manche trompe. Yeah, yep. okay. I remember yep. that too. Yep. Mr. Gagnon, he was pretty epic though. He was just he a was big, am- snuggly, buggly kind of guy. He was an amazing, amazing, amazing teacher out of St. James Collegiate in Winnipeg. No, it was Golden Gate. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Golden Gate. Sorry, I'm getting yep. my schools mixed up. Yeah, mm-hmm. Golden Gate. Yeah, yeah, it was, he was... One of the best teachers ever. He does have more than one wig. There you go. Duvernay. He's wearing that nasty, curly, blah, blah, blah. And he also had that one with the silly curls on the side. Yeah, Jamie Dalhousie. Who's going to call their kid <laughs> Dalhousie? There's a university in, um, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Dalhousie. Yeah. Dalhousie. Oh, really? Yeah, it's actually called Dalhousie University. Oh, and you're just calling yeah. it Dalhousie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because, well, it's spelled the same. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, Compte Man. Compte Man. No. Seriously. Look how his eyes are so piercing. Yes, Ugh. they are. And I always think once I hear somebody say Madame, I was like, Madame's foot's caught in the door. <laughs> that's, what mom, <laughs> that's what mom used to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, gosh. Do you think she's distracting? She is. She is. A little bit. Not as much as distraction as she's going to be in about. A minute and a half. Yeah, exactly. How why much? Is he, why is he gawking at her? Well, because Jamie's hair is a little bit wonky today. Yeah. Well, and at least his wig looks a wee bit better. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a cunt in the back watching. Yeah. Watching her drink. Watching her. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah, not so good. Go. Mm. Just Twitter. Excellent. Mm-hmm. My plan is working. Yep. Okay. What's get up? So long, you Jane? see? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 She's not all right. You know, don't you love that? It's like when you're Ugh. when you're choking or something like that. People ask you. Are you, if you you're choking? Okay. Yeah. Are you choking? <laughs> and you're supposed to look at it. No. No. I'm fine. No. No. Yes. Yes. I'm choking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you all right? No, I'm bent over wanting to die right now. Yeah. And the Comte is pleased. Oh, yes. Mr. Comte is very, very, very proud of himself, isn't he? Yeah. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. Well, and she says she doesn't think it was poison. She should know, you well, know, yeah. right away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There, she knows. Yeah. yeah, exactly. How embarrassing. She probably shit herself right there. Right? Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I love his quilted vest. It is, I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Baby should be fine. Hmm. Well, yeah. She haven't had, hasn't had any con- contractions or anything, so. No, exactly. But that would be, when you get, when you get the shits when you're pregnant, it That's does not, not feel good. Ugh. No. This is the worst. And, and she did, knows. I, I can't remember. In the book, does it mention that she went anywhere? 
like did she go to uh the hospital or did she just go back directly i can't remember mm, no i think doctors came to her uh, and I they tried see. to bleed her and everything like they tried that's to, yeah. right mm-hmm. whatever yeah yeah, yeah just and cut she... people and let them bleed and everything will be fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah and all. she and she went like ballistic and like made Jamie like yeah get rid of them yeah. and yeah uh huh yeah yeah that was a cure for a lot of stuff back then mm-hmm. let's just cut you open bleed mm-hmm. you out and you're yeah. good mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I bet you she's bunch not of crazy feeling good no yeah. no. Yeah, she would have she would have made a mess of herself. And yeah, that's what you you know, you don't think of these kinds of things, you know, when you're watching shows and you think of all the romance of the time and all that stuff. Yeah. Having the shits back then not fun. Would not have been a good time because you'd be like no. shitting in a pot and then like who's who's taking that away once it's full and like like somebody had to bring it in another pot and then what a right, job to have right? right you're that person you know like you suzette can say, like uh poor suzette and like and then you'd have to run with the pot just throw it out the, pot, the window right? clean <laughs> clean the pot bring it back they like, didn't have toilets. No. Everything got chucked mm-hmm. out the window. They weren't yep. all about, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the ecosystem yep. and all of that back then. Mm-hmm. There wasn't composting. And you know, shit is not. You know, Claire is not gonna shit in a dirty pot. Yeah. Coming back to like, she's gonna want that pot cleaned, and she's gonna want Suzette to wash her hands, and she's gonna like, she's she's gonna make sure. And now so, here it comes. Mm-hmm. She's gonna tell him. Yeah sorry for the for the shit talk yeah sorry guys <laughs> it's the things you think about <gasps> dun, dun, dun. oh my goodness what is he gonna say i bet you none of us know <gasps> <laughs> we've never we can- seen this before could you imagine if poor people decided to watch this with us the first time yeah no, don't do that. Don't, mm. don't, no. We're like the fourth time around. Well, you know what? Even if they did, like, if they're going to be those people that just, you know, decide to watch it kind of half ass, don't really care. Yeah. That's different. That, that'd be fine. Yeah. If they're just like family members that just wanted to listen to us talk shit, then okay. That's, they that's, probably that's wouldn't fine. have made it past season one, episode two. <laughs> Probably. Okay, yeah, this is, we hear this all the time every day. We're good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was, I was kind of surprised how they had him, you know. Yeah. Um, but. No. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't need that. My mm-hmm. gosh. Yeah. But I've got something to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. Uh But okay. I mean, see, I guess this confuses me, you uh, know, like, I, I, what about the baby? I get it. I get you it. Know? You know that, but to be so excited to uh-huh. know that the man that raped you over and over again is alive. So you could kill him. And mm. that made you more excited than having a child with the woman you love. Yeah. I like this okay. little interaction. It's funny. Yeah. Uh-huh. Cause Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Claire, you're so s- no. now that was like that was just mean. like yeah, snotty. Exactly. You know, but like, that's Claire. Sometimes, sometimes her own thing, can, her own way. Yep. Yeah, she could she can do that. Okay, now I've realized we've watched her exit that carriage in that street a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is her third time making it up the stairs. Yeah. At least. Oh, she looks just stunning in that. I just and thank love goodness that. the double doors open because she would mm-hmm. not be able to get her ass through that. No, nope. no, nope. <laughs> she would not be able to fit that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, I don't think you almost died. No. Well, she, you wouldn't be walking around today. And, and why would she be talking to him so snotty? That's one of her friends. Like, yes, but she also thinks that he sold it knowing that it was going to her. Yeah, but then obviously they're not friends. Friends right. off. Mm -hmm. That looks like pee hanging there. Just saying. Mm -hmm. And I don't need to buy that. I And in the book... This is, this is, uh, I'm glad they kind of changed it up because in the book, they go like under the fireplace, right? Into a hidden yeah. room. Yeah. And which, well, yeah. back then the fireplace mm -hmm. was actually used. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Whether it is to keep the dampness out during the, the mm -hmm. summertime because yeah. it rains a lot there, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm glad and, it was a secret Claire, room. Yeah, and Claire had to like duck walk through it in the book. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, as these things in the book are easy to imagine. Right? Yes. It's yeah. easy to put your mind into it, but for an actor to actually do it. Different. <laughs> a little bit different. It, 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 you know, the visual is, is much, uh, is, is much harder to, you know, yeah. make happen. That looks like a, a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yup. But it's not because it's Tyrannosaurus not. Rex babies were a lot bigger than that. Well, and not only that, but now, you know, it's easy to imagine where people got the idea of dragons from. Yeah, exactly. You know, you dig up a dinosaur head and, well, what's that look like? Yeah. Yeah, this is... I like how they, you know, even though she came in all chirpy, she uh, calmed down and uh, yes. started, you know. <laughs> <start> I <laughs> like the look on his face. Yeah. Oh, I'm magic. This is magic. Sleight of hand. Come yeah. on. <laughs> and she's so worldly to know that game. Right? Yeah. Like to mm -hmm. know, not the game, but here yeah. I'm thinking Yahtzee. <laughs> <laughs> uh now see and that story is going to get bigger isn't it yeah okay what story with her uncle mm, no not really hmm. maybe not so, maybe not more yet. to come maybe yeah. more to come yeah because so there's a really. reason well for all of these little moments right yeah exactly and uh and for him to know these things as well yeah. Right? There's reasons why he's like, like we've said before, like this is not a, a spoiler free podcast. And no, I know the books very well. And the, you know, and any um, guesses that come from the fandom and stuff like that, I'll include them in here um, for, you know, Master Raymond being a traveler is quite, um, quite well known that he yeah. is one. Um, but you know, they even believe that, you know, he comes from like way, way far back, like, yeah. as, like as early as time. Well, what I like about her reaction to this mm -hmm. is that it, it will apply to so she's had so many people tell her certain things already. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Remember, you know, um, Mrs. Graham told her that, you know, her, she would meet another man or, you yep. know, and it came true. Right. So yep. here's someone else giving her a foresight to the future. And she's like, yep. Oh shit. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I love cuckoo clogs. <laughs> I would love to have a cuckoo clock. You're a cuckoo clock. I know. That's why I like them. And her dress, Louise's dress. Oh, her dresses are always just, oh. they're just a little extra frilly. And that's yeah. what I love about them. And that's, that's the difference, right? Claire's yeah. are a little bit more like understated and, and especially when she's in scenes with yeah. Louise, right? Her dresses just have this extra frill and, you know, excitement to them. And for her, the way she talks is almost like a 17th, 18th century valley girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My lover, he would be so, you know what I mean? Yep. It's just like a valley girl from the 1800s. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
and her pout. I know it's her pout. She nails that yeah. pout. Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, you just wait for a selfie stick to pop out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, you guys, do a TikTok. Come on. Right? Uh -huh. She is so cute. I just, yeah. and, and for her to, you know, and because she does have all these gossipy friends and, you know, she's in that kind of world. Yeah. She knows who she can trust with her secrets. Exactly. Right? She knows that Claire isn't one of those gossipy, no. you know, hens that yeah. she can that she can confide in her and i like how claire you know even though claire knows yeah you know how to do what she wants her to do right now yeah she's giving her an option that is also you know yeah is also available to her and she's saying she wants the baby right right but and that's why she's you know yeah uh, and mm. the fact that you know she doesn't have sex with her husband yeah. on the regular you know exactly. it's like but then she can even recognize that you know her lover is a dreamer and you mm -hmm. know just it, it's great fun but really mm -hmm. yeah I like convent did she put the big pout at the end of uh -huh. convent yeah I couldn't see you, Louise, in a convent. Nope. Not at all. Sleep with my husband. <laughs> if we could all say that, sleep with my husband, but my lover. Oh, my goodness. What would he think? Right? <laughs> Gosh. He'd be so mad at me. Yeah. Uh, Claire's like, what a stupid thing to say. Yeah. Uh, Without actually saying it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's walking around upstairs. Mm -hmm. I can hear him walking. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this one, I would, if there was anything hard uh, <laughs> next to the nightstand, he would have got it upside the head. There's I a don't holder. give a crap. Yeah, I would have. Or else I would have grabbed the closest thing to me and flung mm -hmm. that across the room. Uh, well, you know, finally trying to get Randy with her. Like, yeah. trying to, you know, and here we go. Like, yeah. a hickey? Seriously, dude. It's a bite marks. Uh-huh. Yeah. What? A wee bit carried away. He was wearing pants. That was an awful hard bite mark. Yeah. Well, wool was pretty thick back then. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, and twice. You think after the first time right. she'd be gone, but mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Yeah. Swiss on the uh -huh. yeah, sixty-nine. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, not the best, you know. Yeah. Gift of giving. Uh huh. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. No, I didn't do anything. What? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I got horny and came home. Yeah. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, yeah. Let me put out for you. Yeah. Oh, and that's yeah. helping her. Oh, yeah. it doesn't mean I wasn't tempted. I wanted to, <laughs> but I didn't because I love you. <laughs> I kiss me arse in English. Jeez. <laughs> you dumb shit. You know, some things you just keep to yourself. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. I found it Ugh. through another woman. I found it through another woman. So yeah. Just, you know, sometimes honesty is not the best policy. I don't yeah. care who you are or what you say. Yeah. Sometimes keep shit to yourself. If it yeah. only makes you feel better by saying it, mm -hmm. don't say it. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. God. Exactly. When it's only to get stuff off of your chest to make you feel less guilty, shut your mouth. That's very selfish, you know, it by is. thinking of it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, think about the other person. If you need to live with that guilt yep. to spare them, mm -hmm. then that's the right thing to do. Yeah. 
That's called penance. <laughs> exactly. Pay your penance and keep the shit to yourself. Exactly. Uh, I had to tell you to get it off my chest. No, no, you didn't. No, you uh, did it to mm -hmm. be hurtful. You think you're yeah. doing the right thing when you do that, and you're yeah. not. You're not. You're now putting your suffering on someone else so yep. that you could feel better. Yeah. That is, that's yeah. not the way to do it. Selfish, selfish, yeah. selfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Her hair looks so good. <laughs> I love her with the long hair. I mm -hmm. really do. Tell me. Goddamn. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Instead of letting a lady bite you. Mm -hmm. But it's That's true. Where you need to be. That's you know, we all need. have this place inside of us that we keep to ourselves because it's ours, right? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, and the thoughts we have or the things that we do, it, it just, it will stay there, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you'll have the occasional person in your life that you feel 100% that you can share any with and everything with, but I think all of us have that one little part that's just ours, ours. you know? And that's okay. Okay, mm -hmm. exactly. That's okay. We don't have to share everything. No. I, rem I remember mom saying that to me once mm -hmm. because I used to, you know, I used to tell people so much about myself, like yeah. friends and stuff like that. I used to just, you know, give over so much information about my yeah. marriage or whatever. And mom just said to me once, she was just like, you know, you don't have to share everything. You don't yeah. have to tell people everything because that stuff, those people don't stick around all the time. Well, in the same token, if you do everything for everybody or you, mm -hmm. you know, you're always putting, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Eventually, mm -hmm. you know, people will use that and then they'll just be gone, yeah. you know, and mm -hmm. that, well, that's Well, and people sad. do, and, and, and it's true. She was right because I would share too much information with people and then people would- yeah utilize that information against me sometimes so yeah it's you know you do learn eventually but at the same time sometimes there's just like with this he shared yeah. the information with her she and when you share information with people sometimes it takes them a while to process it exactly and exactly. that's okay too you yeah. can tell somebody something and don't expect them to react to it right away don't expect them to take it all in right away because you've had time to do that. You've had time to do that before you've told them. Yeah. So, well, and Claire, she's not the great at reacting to information properly the first time. <laughs> right. It takes her time to process, yeah. you know, yeah. and I think, I think that's natural for a lot of people. And I think and this I is loved first, this scene. Yeah. Same. First time I think he's seen her body pregnant, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. And the, the find us, not find me. Yeah. And the blue, the, yeah. the, the color, the, cause yeah. blue has been a constant color for them throughout yeah. the, and I love how they fought for this. Uh, yeah. Sam and Katrina fought for the showing the belly. Yeah. And, and I thought that, and the special effects department did an absolutely amazing Fantastic. job at making it, you know, seem like she, and what a trip for Katrina, yeah. you know, like, honestly, having never been pregnant that we yeah. know of and, you know, yeah. for her to, uh, you know, see herself laid out like as a, you know, woman who's yeah. seven months pregnant, you know. That'd be, I, I think that would be so cool, you know, if you haven't been yeah. pregnant to be able to wear that prosthetic and, you know, mm -hmm. I think it would, it would be awesome. It'd yeah. Be fun. And, th and then seeing, and then seeing yourself like all rigged out that way, <laughs> yeah. like on screen as if you were actually, I think yeah. it would be a trip. He looks fatty. Mm -hmm. His hair looks wet. <laughs> I think he had a good time. I think so. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, oh, I'm I glad think that... they found their way back to each other. That's good. Mm -hmm. Took a while. 
but yeah. that's that's also normal. Yeah, you know, exactly. you can't expect to go through the things that they went through. Yeah. And remember, it was just on the boat over that she told him. Yeah. That she was actually pregnant. So right. it hasn't, it's been a little while since they've been mm -hmm. together because she's like full outright showing for her first time. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, Ooh, Santa Claus. He's <laughs> on the roof. Somebody let out the stash. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea to put that on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, not for us, but for whoever's coming for a visit. Right. Uh, Sounds like he has a cold. Every once in a while, it sounds like he has a cold. Well, and probably does. Yeah. Because there's been times where Katrina sounded the same. And, and, and that's the, the likelihood is they did have a cold. Yeah. They were on set sick. We won't have that happening in season six. People won't be no. able to shoot when they're sick. Yeah. They'll have to well, shut I'm sure down. they'll... You know, I'm sure they'll go through the testing and, and all of that. I think it'll, I think they'll probably quarantine um, oh, yeah. everybody working on the show, you know, yep. like. Yep. Things are going to be different. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? It really is as much as we're excited for season six to start shooting. I really want our actors to be healthy because I want them to come back. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Be healthy, Just, be safe and. I could not yeah. see replacing a character at this point in the oh, show. No. no, it would be a very you'd have to just kill them off because it, they mm. wouldn't. For me, it just wouldn't be believable enough. Yeah, we're just too invested in our characters that I we think have. The only ones that they could replace are ones that were, let's say, in season one and were coming back, or season, right. you know, like yeah. I mean, I would hate to see Laurel Don Laura Donnelly replaced as Jenny. Yeah. However, if she She's can't busy. come back, she yeah. she probably could be replaced by somebody else just because, you know, yeah. like it would suck and I would hate it because I love her as Jenny. Same. But she would be coming back so much older. She would be coming back, you know, in such a different yeah. role. Like, I mean, not a different role, but she well, would be coming back and, you know. Um, and they were worried that, you know, she might not be able to come back because of scheduling because she's yeah. a busy actress, right? Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. fingers crossed that she does come back um, because it's my understanding that she yeah. does come back later mm -hmm. on. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. If they keep those storylines going, right? Right. Like, I mean, exactly. They, she was, she was a big part of the Brianna storyline before where they just had her not home because she was helping one of the Delivery, children give right. birth, right? Yeah. So they just wrote her kind of out of that and replaced her with Ian. Um, so there was that. But, you know, you, you, you never know what's going to happen. The, she is such a big part of books coming up yeah. that if they're still filming, what are they going to do? Well, they might have to recast. You never know. Well, because they're we're not going to want to every time it's supposed to be a scene with her in the book. Oh, she had to do this or she's sick. And, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. that's, that's crap. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and I know that they're going to be better than that. So yeah. mm -hmm. fingers crossed that Laura Donnelly does come back as Jenny. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm sticking to. But if they mm -hmm. have to recast, Hey, we'll, we'll love the new actress. Cause I'm sure they'll, they'll yeah. pick another one. Bang on. Suzanne Smith is a, uh, is a brilliant mind the cast like the casting has never failed us so i don't think they, they i ever don't think will. so either i know no. people have their opinions but mm -hmm. truly i think they've done a remarkable job of casting yeah they have you I, know sometimes if you just fallen. if you open your mind to what someone else is doing and mm -hmm. trust what they're doing you'll eventually like it if you come yeah. in cynical you're gonna stay cynical yeah absolutely and i think really paying attention to what the actors say about yeah. their method in yeah. their performances um take the time yeah to read take the time to watch some of their interviews yeah um and you also will really be able to understand where they're coming from too in their portrayals so i mean you know take some time to educate yourself on what those actors are doing and and they're great you know even there's they all have different personalities if you look them up via social media or just do some research online. Yeah, I, I, I found it really interesting after seeing it. 
a few times um, to start looking up the actors. So mm -hmm. it was cool. Yeah. But I love here how they finally realize that, hey, you know, it's Louise and the prince yep. that are having this affair. And how can we turn this around to our advantage? Right. Yeah. Mm hmm. The lighting is so nice. It's yeah. just, you know, what else would you get from the middle of the night, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and you're always doing a bad thing. <laughs> bad, bad thing. <laughs> it's what bad people say. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, we've all said it sometimes. <laughs> Nobody is sin free. We are all bad at something. Mm -hmm. Well, and who determines? Yeah, exactly. Uh. It would be so much. And because I did catering when I was really young, I enjoyed setting up things like that. It like, it just made me feel good because I have this little bit of a meticulous nature. Mm -hmm. And it was just very calming to me to set the fork the proper way, the knife the proper way. <laughs> A little bit of a meticulous nature. I love yeah. walking through stores with my sister. I like going ahead of her and I'll just turn a shower bottle sideways and she'll walk right behind me and turn it straight again. And yeah, it's one of my fun little little games to play when we're out together. You know what? I, and hands up to retail. They, they're they really busy. So if I'm standing in line and I see chocolate bars and gum at a place, I'm going to fix it. Yep, just you are. Be, because... I love this scene. I oh, love me this too. scene. Oh, these two are just. Yeah. We're, I'm supposed to get them back. Yeah. Oh, Mary. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh God! There's, there's. I, I like to call them a cute couple. Yeah, they're just so adorable together. Yeah, it's contradictory. Yeah. It's like isn't giving that a, funny? A child advice. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Mm. And but Murtaugh's listening. That's the funny part. He's like taking this in. Yeah, uh, exactly. Not that he's learning anything. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Affairs of women. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, he does. Ay, ay, ay. And so he yeah. asks. Yeah. Him. Exactly. So, yeah, he's kind of asserting himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's uh, so funny yeah Suzette doesn't uh doesn't mind at all and She's, that was perfect timing him throwing yeah. uh, the knife into the fruit and then this guy's screaming yep. bloody murder little transition never hurt anybody oh wait no. it hurt him yeah uh, Ooh, look oh, at the bone God. sticking out that's so cool yep oh acupuncture not Certain normally times. done with a nail and hammer anymore yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. They found other other methods. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this guy here. Um, okay. So the nerve, though. Yeah, that's good for all of thirty seconds until they start moving the bone around, uh -huh. yep. setting the leg. Uh, oh, ah. look at that! I'd that is not. freaking cool. Uh, yeah. See, time to remove that nail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this is yummy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. I have to say honestly, when <laughs> when <laughs> Mary's like, eh. I thought I didn't realize it. they said it was. I thought dead man's grease was something else. Like they had him oh. jerk off into jars before they <laughs> killed him, and that's why I thought Mary was acting that way. <laughs> oh my god no it's literal fat from dead people i know but that took me yeah. like the second time around oh to realize god. i'm like why would she be so grossed out about that oh. no that is dead man's cum yeah. in the jar uh, no it's not and then i thought to myself who the hell figured that out like i hear it's good for the skin but ooh. barf 
Did it come from way back then? (laughs) Wow. That's so disgusting. And well, this guy, of course, okay. Yeah. Doctor part of the time, but you know, drawn quarter dude the other time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so nasty. Claire looks quite nice in this light. She looks good in any light, really. Yeah. She's a beautiful, beautiful woman. Yep. Oh, crap. And that couldn't have happened at all during the day while she was in there? No. No. Couldn't have. It had to happen while they're getting ready to leave. Yeah. Oh, such a bad, bad, bad time. She is so yeah. tiny. She's like five foot two She's compared your to. I'm I'm about an inch taller than that. I thought you and you and her sister were both five two. You're no, exactly five, the same height. I'm five three and a bit. Because I'm taller than all you guys. I'm you're five, like, five You're you're not five five. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I swear to God, I'm five five. No, you're not. I am five five. You keep saying it. It's not making sense. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. No. You'll see next time we're together. Sure. You you wouldn't want to do that all the time. No. All I'm the not, time. I'm taller than Wanda. No, you guys are okay. She'll keep fighting. No, I'm not. <laughs> Denial sometimes is a lovely place to be. <laughs> it's called. It's a river. Oh, yep, it is. Oh, everybody's coming for dinner. Mary's uncle and her mm. betrothed behind him. Can you him. imagine that no. girl having to marriage, marry that guy that looks like a thumb? No. Ugh. Okay, I don't know who that couple is. They're just extra fill-in. Uh, same with them. They're fill-ins. Just to people's. fill up the table. Yeah. yeah. Fancy, prancy, dancy people. Oh, oh God. So this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. I just cringe every time. Oh. Mm, poor There'll be lateness bugger. involved. Mm-hmm. Stuart. Prince Charles Edward Stuart. Stuart. Turd ball. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Mock me. You're a little Sandringham. Yeah. Mm. Do you think Sandringham <laughs> was going to provide anything to him? I yep. don't think so. You think he was? Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I he's, don't. He's a Jacobite. He is a Jacobite, but he also is taking what he can from the English. So, you yeah, know what I mean? Stealing, stealing from the English to give to the Jacobites. I don't think he was that devoted Jacobite. I think he's a double crosser, so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he reminds me of Horrocks. A mm, little bit. Yeah. All of these. Uh, and she's so in love with him. It, mm-hmm. It's nice to see her in love. Yeah, but this is bad time walking through the dark alleys of this place. Oh, Randall. Now Randall. Huh? Her, her, no. the hood on, on her jacket. Mm-hmm. I, I'd love it. And it reminds me of like little red riding hood only it's not red and she's not riding. And she's not little. Exactly. <laughs> So all of the things. That reminds me a little Red Riding Hood have nothing to do with what it is that right. is happening. Except for the hood. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. It is a hood. But it's, it's hood. very pretty. Yeah. Oh, see, Myrta was looking all around, but not yeah. up. No. And why would he, right? Mm-hmm. Why would he? Yeah. Oh. oh. Knocked him out. Damn it. Ugh. This was such a, you know, poor Mary. Yeah. Oh, I feel bad for her. So do I. Poor girl. Yeah. They needed to, oh. Mm. This is not cool, people. 
No. Yet another rape. Yeah. Oh. Needed to somebody to come along and rip that little bastard's head straight it, off. It, it's That's such fine. a small area. You can't tell me nobody heard them for God's sake. Come mm. on. You know, yeah. there were tons of people walking around them only 30 seconds ago, and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden, boom, no one's there. Nah. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Yeah. In the Gabaldon world. Yeah. Oh, God. Poor Mary. So fucking horrible. Yeah. He's getting his pants undone until they see her face. Yeah. La Dame Blanche. Get him off her. Yeah, exactly. God. You fools. Mm. Oh, it's not poor good. Mary. I feel bad for her. Uh, you know, very much the innocent, you know? Mm hmm Any yeah. rape, but, you know, yeah. sh oh, I feel bad for her. Everybody Young laying girl. down their swords. Mm -hmm. Hey, isn't that kind of like walking into a, you know, anywhere in the U.S.? Leave your guns at the door? Or? No, they carry them in. You can oh. carry them around Walmart. You can carry them around Costco. The oh, color look. of her dress is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yippers. And they match. They're matchy-matchy. Yeah. See how frilly her dress is? And her husband is handsome. It's not like he's uh -huh. an old coot or anything. He's yeah, how come they're not banging? They should be banging on the regular. Right? Like, like compared to him. Yeah. And the, Look, that's just like uncomfortable. Sucking on, like, it's like sucking on her hand. Like, come yeah. on. Like, dude. And dude. Look at Sandringham like, what the? Uh, yeah. And she, she did a really nice job, don't you think, of pulling yeah. her hand away just mm -hmm. ever so softly? Yep. Yep. Not cool. He's like, uh, really bad news here. You yeah. better escape. Some bad and you, and you know happened. Exactly. And you know yeah. he told him like everything, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. There goes Suzette. Yes. <sighs> yeah, this is not good. No. Not good at all. Mm. Poor, poor Mary. I know. Mm. Mm. look at alex yeah, you know, this was not such, a good idea he was such a, a good heart you know like yeah. he loves her and mm -hmm. he, just his mind isn't the same as others well oh she's ruined now i can't be she can't yeah. be my wife because mm -hmm. he truly you know right. cares for her so yeah yeah well and that's the thing like I'm I'm glad that you want to be with her and sit by yeah. her and stuff like that. But honestly, no, yeah. should have just been Suzette. Like should have just left her. Left exactly, her exactly. That would have been the. And I know thing. Claire was trying to do the right thing by letting him stay with her. You yeah. know, but yeah. in hindsight, I'm sure that mm. was the wrong decision. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh Poor woman. Yeah. Of course she won't leave her side. Hmm. And why does that room look like a cave? Just the tapestry on the wall, it looks like they're walking in a cave mm -hmm. <laughs> until you move and see the door. Yeah. It's a huge closed-in room. Yeah. Everything's so dark, though. Yeah, well, it's nighttime, so mm -hmm. it's not like here. You know, you just turn on every light in the house, so it still yeah. seems like day. Mm hmm Well, and when you when you watch this again, because of course everybody's seen this more than more than once, and we all know that it was the Duke that set all of this up. Yeah. Right. And like to see his face when she comes into the room and she's poised and she's you know, yeah, it's. it's pretty it's it's like he he plays it very very well yes he does hmm. and like Go kudos kudos to claire yeah 
Oh yeah, they, I forgot they, to tell you. Yeah. Of course the Duke invited him. Mm -hmm. On purpose. Because they think it's him that yeah. set it up, right? They think it's the Comte. Well, and then, you know, he needed an alibi as well. Hey, I've been at your dinner party. Mm -hmm. I haven't done anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, but it wouldn't be him that did it anyhow. He'd of course. Hire somebody to do it. Of course. Oh, you need more of it than a deep breath. Uh-huh. Valium anywhere, darling. Right. Yeah. Talking herself into it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do whoa, this. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Just and so even and, and see the way Magnus looked at her like he just barely saw it but he looked over his shoulder at her as she was coming yeah. through the door he had this softness about him yeah and it comes to her right from the start and did you see the count's the count's face when she walked in he, he mm -hmm. kind of held the chair a little bit like what is she doing here but the duke's face was even more interesting because yeah. his eyes were like are you fucking kidding me right now yeah exactly like, bitch will not die like no. like he's just standing there like what mm -hmm. and that was the thing they wanted you to focus on the comte yeah but right behind was the duke who yeah. is the one that actually set this all up and i love that her husband believes that the baby is his yeah mm -hmm. he oh. does louise come back at all in the the story no no no, no. Mm, that's too bad. I like her. Mm -hmm. Don't touch her. Yeah, Don't no. touch her. No, no, no. Stop it. She's just been, she's just been raped and beaten and, 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 and both, yeah. both the face. She just don't, don't, don't. Stop it. Don't even uh, touch her hand. Just yeah. Go away. <laughs> nice guy. Good intentions, but no. Mm -hmm. I wonder how the Kant's wife stays with him. Like, I wonder... Well, probably she seems like a quite lot of, nice. She qu seems quite pleasant, you know, and well, I don't think he pays much attention. Like a lot of I don't think a lot of men really paid much attention like Louise and yeah. her husband like really do their together, own thing. Yeah, right? exactly. They're, they do their own thing and this like I think most marriages were of convenience and yeah. you know, matches made between families and, you know, you just yeah. go and you did your own thing. Yeah, exactly. Ugh, I can't even stand to listen to him talk. I know. He does right? such a he's such a freaking good actor. <laughs> he makes me hate him. Uh -huh. <laughs> or yep. dislike him a lot. I don't hate anybody. But I do. Yeah. And I really don't like this guy. Yeah. Uh it's so funny because here, even though he's the prince, he kind of seems like the odd man out. Mm hmm Yep, for sure. No? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, speaking of... Uh, blah, 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 um, John Sessions, the mm -hmm. man who played uh, Gellis Duncan's husband, yeah. Arthur, passed away just recently. Yeah, that was so sad to hear yeah. that, mm -hmm. you know, so very just sad. So we'd take a second and say, you know, so sorry to his family and all who loved him and the people on Outlander who, uh, who cared about him and worked with him. Um, yeah. Lottie even set out a, sent out a tweet in regards, you know, to him because, yeah. you know, she played his online wife or online wife, on screen <laughs> wife. Right. Yeah. So it was nice. A lot of, uh, a lot of the cast uh, mm. reached out. And, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Very sad. So John Sessions has passed. Yeah. Alrighty. Here we go into, I am a representation of God, the almighty himself. And uh -huh. he spoke to me and. Blah, yeah. And I blah. loved how she said, oh, how about the opera? That's <laughs> <Right>. boring. <laughs> I love but she does know how to command an audience and have fun, yep. does she not? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And her yeah. husband looks pretty proud of her for doing it, too. Yeah, exactly. And then there's old Charles trying to... Yeah. Ugh. And, you're, dude, the reason you're not married is because that's not your game. <laughs> right? Your right? game is a different approach, mm -hmm. So, especially yeah. for back then. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's not just men that he enjoys. It's younger. Yeah. Exactly. Men. I'm not sure it's even legal age. Yeah. So, so I'm sure it's he not. goes into a I think different his, category altogether. I think his uh, ways tend to mm -hmm. reflect a reflect a blackjack Randall, and that's why they find this the similarities in each mm -hmm. other, right? Yeah, I believe that uh, the Duke of Sandringham. Oh yeah, he just uh, announced, announced that he's the daddy of your baby. Yeah. <laughs> But I wonder what he thinks. I wonder, has she been sleeping with her husband? And is that is she pregnant? Or I wonder uh -huh. if he knows that the child is his. Uh -huh. That's why I asked if she comes back. You know, I wonder if something yeah, about him, she's now carrying his baby. Does he show up later in history? Not that I know of. Yeah. <laughs> You're sad. Oh. Miserable. Yeah, see, he's just... Little in the dark. Uh-huh. Yes, you are in the dark. It's got his face... Like, his little face is just so rat-like sometimes. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. That's the weird thing about Andrew Gower is that he doesn't look like that. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. have his little ratty face. Ugh. Oh, don't yeah. do that. Get off her. She's in shock. Yeah, don't. But he doesn't, he yeah. doesn't know. He, he uh -huh. doesn't, uh. Yeah, he's like, oh, dear. Yeah. Run, Forrest, run. Mary is out and running. Yeah. Oh. See, she's so, I, I like her. Mm -hmm. I like his wife. She was just so polite and, yeah. you know, I, I love that. And, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. It's magic. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know. They didn't say much about her. So. Yeah. Do you believe in superstition? Superstition? Well, superstition yeah. isn't really, you know. Well, our mother never under a ladder and never let a black cat walk in front of you. But our mother would also say, don't trip. And two seconds later, trip. you would trip. Yeah. And I think so she was a wee bit of a She was a witch. power of suggestion. Yeah, she her, was. She, she could, yeah, she'd nail you every freaking time, that one. And you, never, you better not get pregnant. Oh, <laughs> what happened, Phyllis? got pregnant <laughs> <laughs> and i told her i won't get married and i won't get pregnant until i'm at least 20 years old you didn't and i didn't yeah i got married when i was 20 i got I married when i was 18 no and i didn't yeah didn't uh well you that's because you and wanda both got married and had kids really quite well young. wanda one she got married when she was what 17 yeah so yeah mm -hmm. Yep. Come with me. Come with me. It's a it's brawl so... in the parlor. Yeah. What? 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 Boom. <laughs> and he, Dinner's done. he Time started to all of it. It was yeah, all because of him and he knew it. And that's why he left early. And that's why exactly. he left first. Yeah. Murta is like, um, we can't kill anybody. Yeah. We can just beat them up. <laughs> he gets hit in the head with a tray a big old platter yeah uh, exactly uncivilized come on you should be placing your bets people yeah exactly oh, here there you go uh, and claire knew to throw him the ropes from the draperies yep. so he could tie them up mm -hmm. call the gendarme uh-huh then i'd get some people arrested yeah all of them uh-huh. This is their house. They should be Clean able to beat up. people up if they want to. <laughs> I love Fergus. how this ends. Here's yeah. Fergus. I'm going to have some wine. I'm going to have gonna eat some food. Yeah, exactly. This is delicious. Um, growing boys need to eat. Yep. They do. And drink. 
and drink coffee and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he grew up in a brothel, so I'm sure he did a lot of drinking as yeah. you know yeah. as a kid. So he probably better than the tit. Yeah, exactly. Moments in history. Remember these ladies? A lot of people might not, but well, these Hi. ladies, you know, like our parents grew up with, right? Like these mm-hmm. were iconic women. So it's all about Jaja and Eva Gabor. So Eva Gabor was famous for portraying the pampered socialite married to a farmer on the television's Green Acres. Green Acres is a place for me. Green <laughs> Acres. Okay. I'm about you. Okay. Sorry. Thanks for that, sir. <laughs> so, both of her older sisters, Zaza and Megda, were in the entertainment industry as well. But it was the rivalry between Zaza and Avi, Ava, sorry, that was most famous. In 1990, the Los Angeles Times even went so far as to playfully tally up their, you know, in parentheses, wins. Ava was skinnier. Uh, Zsa had more marriages. Ava sold wigs. Zsa sold costume jewelry and skin cream. Ultimately, though Ava was a more successful actress, ironically, people often confuse the two Gabor sisters. That's because they looked so similar. They did. They were. I like, thought they were twins. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know. Mm-mm. No, me neither. They were just Zsa and and that's how you said her name, Zsa 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 Gabor. She was Zsa Zsa, and it was just, that's and Magda. I had no idea there was a third sister. I'm sorry. It's yeah, just me like two. What? Where'd she come from? I'm, I had no idea. I need to look her up now. <laughs> well, it, it kind of reminds me of the Osbournes, where their oldest daughter never wanted to be on television. So I don't even know what Magda did. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I totally had no idea. Until we read this story, I had no idea that there was another Gabor sister. Me neither. Aww. Aww. It's That's like, crazy. It's like, is there's Maria, Maria Osmond and Donnie Osmond. Is there another Osmond kid that nobody knows about? I yeah. don't know. Because they took up all the limelight. What the hell? You They're know, it's like, three. is is there only Jackson 5? No, I think there's only five yeah. boys. I think there's two girls. I think there's seven kids. Is there? I don't know. There's a, maybe there's Peter Oz, uh, Peter Jackson. Oh, wait, there is a Peter Jackson, but he's white. <gasps> wait what? a second. Have we discovered? No, I don't know. See, it's just... <laughs> So many different things out there that we just don't know about. But Jaja and Ava Gabor, they were some sexy, sexy, strong women. And back then, these women, like, they took what they had and they made it work. Well, and I don't even, I can't remember which one went and smacked a police officer when he pulled her over. Oh, that was right? when she was older. Yeah. Right? She yes. was like, oh yeah, that was older. I wonder if he said something to her or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe was see your just... driver's license. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe it was more than that. I don't know, but I think, I can't remember which one, but she's pretty touchy. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Like she yeah. wore, she wore her famous ribbon every day. Do you know who I am? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. How dare you? Well, guys, we want to hear your stories. You know what? Send us an email at sisters at sisus.ca. Visit our website, sisus.ca, or uh, catch up with us on Instagram, Facebook, or on Twitter. Yeah.